which cryptocurrency is being attacked by the SEC after excerpt. How long will crypto holders believe in Ripple? How much will excerpt cost in mid-20? Judge Annalisa Torres denied the SEC's attempt to seal the disputed Hyman papers, allowing Ripple to postpone their release until June 13. According to a court order, the documents, which include former SEC Division Director William Hyman's 2018 summit speech declaring Ethereum, ETH, and Bitcoin, BCE not securities, were expected to be released on June 6. The court order on September 9, 2022, specified that both parties had precisely 20, one days following the sealing judgment to produce public redacted summary judgment materials. Since the judge ruled on May 16, Defense Counsel James, Defense Counsel James Key, Filan anticipated these discoveries on June 6. On May 19, Filan tweeted that Ripple and the securities regulator requested a one-week extension until June 13, 2020, to file public, redacted versions of cross motions for summary judgments and accompanying exhibits, which includes the Hinman materials. As he later confirmed, the judge approved this request, which the parties filed in light of the voluminous nature of the materials and redactions. As was the case with the previous expert testimony motions, called Dobert motions, which were significantly less voluminous, the letter states. According to pro Ripple lawyer John Deaton, the Hyman email release will include Brett Redfern, SEC director of the Division of Trading and Markets, who told Hyman's that this speech is going to lead to more market confusion, as Deaton told Fox Business journalist Alir Tourette on May 21. Ripple's chief legal officer, Stuart Alderotti, previously cited a U.S. Supreme Court opinion that legal teams and courts should adapt factors from old cases to fit the evolving legal landscape, suggesting that the Howey test should be interpreted within the common law framework. Last week, he cited a 1976 Supreme Court ruling in which the SEC ruled that art lithographs offered for investment were not securities if the vendor had no post-sale contractual commitments to the buyer. Reasonable grounds to conclude that excerpt does not satisfy all elements of the Howey analysis and is therefore not a security for purposes of the federal securities laws. The email states, The sex's case against Ripple hinges on XRP and other cryptocurrencies meeting the Howey test definition of securities. Thus, any SEC official or internal document stating that XRP is not a security might be fatal to its argument. Deaton added that the sex representative may have been quoting another XARP study. Pro crypto lawyer Bill Morgan believed in SEC attorney sent the message. Morgan added, most likely in SEC attorney, given how many were involved and commented on Heinemann's speech expressing his personal opinion. Many expect the SEC to disclose Heinemann emails to clarify these suspicions. Ripple has made many platform growth focused announcements in the previous week. Ripple acquired Medico for $250 million. Focus on growth opportunities outside the U.S. was the company's CEO Brad Garlinghouse's explanation for the acquisition. The crypto payment business said its CBUDC platform works with the XR Pledger and Token. Based on a prior court order, defense attorney and former federal prosecutor James K. Filan anticipates the release of the controversial Hyman speech materials on June 6 materials on June 6. Bill Hyman, a former director of the SEC's corporate finance section, made statements in 2018 suggesting that Ether, ETH, was not a security, and these statements are the subject of the Hyman paper. The records include internal SEC debate and discussion over the speech in question. Filan, who has been keeping a close eye on the SEC's UVs, Ripple case for the last two years updated his followers on May 17 about the possibility of unsealing the paper. In accordance with the court's order on September 12, 2022, the parties have 21 days to submit publicly available redacted copies of the summary judgment papers in accordance with the sealing judgment papers in accordance with the sealing judgment. From the date of the judgment yesterday until June 6 is 21 days. However, if the SEC files an appeal or if a settlement is reached, the stated schedule may be altered, according to some observers. Jeremy Hogan, partner at Hogan Hogan, Hogan and another attorney watching the case said the SEC has about 10 days to submit an appeal to this particular judgment. 
Some members of the XURP community, like Ashley Prosperone, think that the possibility of unsealing the papers might encourage both parties to negotiate a settlement, as they each could be sitting on material that they don't want the other to have access to. Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse said on Twitter on May 16 that the company is eager for the unredacted Hyman emails to be publicly available soon. Ripple Labs has had access to the records for some time, but it still considers this part of the case to be crucial in refuting the sex's claims that XRP is a security. Towards the end of December, the SEC filed a request to seal the records from public view cite no relevance to the result of the case and the sex's purpose outweighing the public's right to see the documents as reasons for doing so. The request was formally refused on May 16, giving Ripple Labs a victory this week. Case Developments Concerning Exier Another victory has been achieved by Ripple Labs in its ongoing legal struggle against the USC Securities and Exchange Commission, CC, New court judgment shows that Judge Annalisa Torres rejected a sex request to keep the notorious Ponzi scheme under wraps. The U.S. sex has asked the court to keep the Hinman speech documents under secrecy because they include internal agency discussions, but the court rejected the sex challenge to Judge Sarah Netburn's decision. Us sec is claims that the records related to the notorious Hinman speech were protected by the deliberative process or attorney. Client privileges were thrown out by Judge Netburn. The commission, however, has argued that sensitive materials should be kept under wraps since they have no bearing on the pending summary judgment motions. According to the judgment, the court does not agree with the U.S. sex and considers the Hinman speech memoranda to be judicial records that should be open to the public. The court finds the contentious papers to be relevant to the exercise of the judicial function and potentially helpful to the judicial process. The defendant in the XRP litigation, Brad Garlinghouse, has shared his thoughts on the recent victory against the U.S. SEC. He called it another victory for openness. He also said the public would soon have access to all of Heinemann's emails and records. Even the commission's claim that secrecy is necessary to maintain openness and candor was shot down by the court. U.S. District Judge Annalisa Torres has added a new wrinkle to the current Ripple V's. Sex Hugh court battle by rejecting the sex request to conceal papers relating to the Hyman speech. This new development follows a lengthy court order from last year, when Judge Sarah Netburn demanded the regulatory body hand up the documents to Ripple as part of the discovery procedure. On December 22, 2018, the SEC filed a move to seal texts, expert reports, and internal emails relating to Hyman's comments arguing that the public's right to access documents of irrelevance outweighed the agency's goal. Meanwhile, Judge Torres indicated that Hyman's paperwork may play a role in the court's decision. The files in issue include correspondence and remarks made by William Hyman, a former director of the Corporation Finance Division at the SEC D. The former official denied that Ether was a security back in 2018. The files also include some first thoughts and research for XR. Because they provide the sexy's first impression of excerpt, the papers are crucial to Ripple's argument. Following a recent court ruling, the securities watchdog was given permission to redact the personal information of persons mentioned in papers filed by Hyman. Taurus also gave her stamp of approval to certain deletions suggested by Ripple. The judge, however, ruled against certain redactions that included excerpt.